Florida governor Ron DeSantis is furious about reports that came out earlier this past week, telling us that one of his good friends who donated $10 million to a uh, political committee supporting Ron DeSantis also happens to own 16 million worth of the Regeneron pharmaceuticals. And DeSantis of course is traveling around the state touting Regeneron treatment, opening up Regeneron treatment facilities, some of them with COVID patients laying on the floor, clinging to life. We've all seen those pictures. Um, so yeah, he's, he's furious that people are reporting on this. So he lashed out at reporters this past week, but he didn't actually attack the real fact that he's trying to do this to benefit his donors. He tried to misdirect the public with his statement as did his, uh, comm director, Christina Pushaw. Here is what DeSantis said. Don't let anyone tell you that you're going to be charged thousands of dollars. That is a lie. That is a lie that is being disseminated for political purposes to try to dissuade people from seeking life-saving treatment. And honestly, that's reprehensible. Cool. Um, literally nobody said that. Nobody said what you're saying. They said you're lying and you're not even addressing the main fact that you're only doing this to benefit your donor. Nobody said people are going to have to pay thousands of dollars for the treatment. What was reported by the Associated Press was that a Regeneron treatment cost the government a little over a thousand dollars versus a vaccine that cost the government $25. Nobody said, if you go seek the Regeneron treatment, you have to pay for it. And honestly, that's the bigger issue. You set this up to benefit your donor because you know, people get it for free. So they're going to be more likely to do it. The government is the one that has to pay a thousand dollars per person walking into that Regeneron treatment facility. That's the problem. Your donor is guaranteed money off of this, but you see how the misdirection works. He gets indignant gets angry. How dare they say you're going to have to, you don't have to pay anything. Cool. That wasn't the point we brought up. You're doing this to enrich your donor. You want to address that at all? Or are we just gonna, just gonna act like that's not a thing. Oh, okay. Apparently we're going to act like that's not the issue here. Furthermore, I pointed this out on Twitter, by the way, <laughs> you have all these anti-vax people that are now totally cool with Regeneron, which is a mono monoclonal antibody treatment. But these anti-vaxxers are saying, well, we don't know what's in the vaccine. We don't know what MRNA is. We didn't take high school science courses. Um, and also it's not FDA approved about the vaccine. Cool. Neither is Regeneron, by the way. And if you don't know what MRNA is, I'm willing to bet you don't know what a monoclonal antibody treatment is too, right? I mean, MRNA is actually something you do learn about in school. Monoclonal antibody treatments, not so much. But yes, Regeneron, much like the COVID vaccines were granted emergency use authorization EUAs by the FDA. They're not fully approved by the FDA. They're still being, you know, going through the approval process, still being analyzed, still running tests on it to see if it's actually even effective at this point, because there's been mixed results. So I love to see these anti-vaxxers not saying a damn word about monoclonal antibody treatment, even though all the things they're afraid of with the vaccine, like that's literally also happening over here, but that's just a side point. The big point is that DeSantis is doing this to enrich his donor and he's trying to misdirect the public to get them mad at something that nobody even said in the first place.